Good evening, and welcome to St. Catherine of Alexandria. We'd like to thank all of you for coming tonight. Before we begin this evening's performance of The Wizard of Oz, we ask that you please turn off any cell phones so they do not disturb the show. Also, please refrain from taking flash photos that may distract our actors. Finally, during the intermission, water will be available for purchase at the kitchen. Our story takes place on a small farm in Kansas in 1933, where a young girl named Dorothy dreams of a different life, somewhere over the rainbow. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Don't bother us now, honey. This old incubator's gone bad. Oh, but Aunt Yem, Miss Gulch had towed her right over the back of the rake. Just because she says it gets in your garden and she's her nasty old cat. Dorothy, honey, it'll have to wait. We're busy. But he has to do it every day, just once or twice a week. And he can't catch her old cat anyway. Now she says she's gonna get the sheriff. Come on, you two, step it up. We're coming. We gotta get the hogs in. Um, what am I gonna do about Miss Gulch? Now look at Dorothy. You ain't using your head about Mrs. Gulch. It's like you didn't have any brains at all. I've so got brains. Listen, Dorothy, are you gonna let that old Gulch heifer try and buffalo you? She ain't nothing to be afraid of. Have a little courage, that's all. Here, here, what's all this jabberwocking about when there's work to be done? Go feed those hogs before they worry themselves into an anemia. Yes, sir. Aunt Yami, you know what Miss Gulch said she was gonna do to Toto? Now, Dorothy, dear, stop imagining things. You always get yourself into a fret over nothing. Just help us out today and find yourself a place where you won't get into any trouble. Some place where there isn't any trouble. Suppose there is such a place, Toto? There must be. It's not a place you can get to by boat or by train. It's far, far away. Behind the moon, beyond the rain. Dorothy, what has Dorothy done? What has she done? I'm all but lame from the bite on my leg. You mean she bit you? No, her dog. Yeah, she bit her dog, eh? 
No, that dog's a menace to the community. I'm taking him to the sheriff to make sure he's destroyed. Destroyed? Total? No, you can't. You mustn't. Auntie Anne, Uncle Henry, you won't let her, will you? Of course you won't. Will you? Please, Auntie Anne. Toto didn't mean to. He didn't know he was doing anything wrong. I'm the one that ought to be punished. I let him go in her garden. You can send me to bed if I'll suffer. If you don't hand over that dog, I'll bring a damaged suit that will take your whole farm. There's a law protecting folks against dogs that bite. How would it be if she keeps him tied up? He's very gentle with gentle people, that is. Well, that's for the sheriff to decide. Here's his order allowing me to take him, unless you want to go against the law. Now, we can't go against the law, Dorothy. I'm afraid poor Toto will have to go. Now you're seeing reason. I won't let you take him. You, you go away, you. I'll fight you myself. Dorothy! Uncle Henry, Auntie Em, don't let her take Toto. Don't let her take him, please. Put him in the basket, Henry. Oh, don't, Uncle Henry. Please, please, don't. You're nothing but a wicked old witch. Elmira Gulch! Just because you own half the county doesn't mean you have the power to run the rest of us. For 23 years, I've been dying to tell you what I thought of you. And now, while being a Christian woman, I can't say it. Tell me, you're, um, uh, running away. How did you guess? Ha, Professor Marvel never guesses. He knows. Now, why are you running away? Nobody cares about me at home. They wouldn't even miss me. Now, I wouldn't be so sure of that. Oh, they wouldn't. Honestly, Auntie was even going to let them kill Toto for biting Miss Gulch. Here, sit down. Right here. That's it. Yes, yes, it is. Now, gaze into my crystal ball with me. Aha! I see a woman, and she's wearing a dress. Is it a polka dot dress? It is! And her face is careworn. Yes, that's Aunt Anne. Her name is Emily? That's right. What's she doing? Well, I, I can't quite see why she's crying. Oh. And now she's going into a little bedroom. Is it poppies on the wallpaper? Yes, yes, there are poppies on the wallpaper. What's this? Well, she's putting her hand on her heart. She, she's dropping down on the bed. Oh, no. That's all. The crystal's gone dark. You don't suppose she could really be sick, do you? I've got to go home right away. Come on, Toto. Goodbye, Professor Marvel. Thanks a lot. Oh, uh, you better get home quickly. There's a storm blowing up. A whopper. Just speak in the vernacular of the peasantry. Poor little kid. Gets home, all right. Hickory, check on the pigs. Storm's that color can only mean one thing. Henry, look! It's a twister! Just spotted down the way! And it's coming our way! Come on, everybody! Storm Cellar!
rainbow. Now I know we're not in Kansas. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Who, me? Why, I'm not a witch at all. I'm Dorothy Gale from Kansas. Oh, well, is that the witch? Who, Toto? Her. Toto's my dog. Well, I'm a little muddled. The munchkins called me because a new witch has just dropped a house on the Wicked Witch of the East. And there's a house, and here you are, and that's all that's left of the Wicked Witch of the East. Oh my! And so, what the munchkins want to know is, are you a good witch or a bad witch? I've already told you, I'm not a witch at all. Witches are old and ugly. What was that? The munchkins, they're laughing because I am a witch. I'm Glinda, the Witch of the North. You are? Oh, I beg your pardon, but I've never heard of a beautiful witch before. <laughs> Only bad witches are ugly. I did know. The munchkins are happy because you have freed them from the wicked witch of the East. But uh, if you please, what are munchkins? The little people who live in this land. It's munchkin land. And you are their national heroine, my dear. It's all right. You may all come out and thank her. It's all right now. You may all come out. Come out, come out, wherever you are, and meet the young lady who fell from a star. She fell from the sky, she fell very far, and Kansas, she says, is the name of the star. Kansas, she says, is the name of the star. She brings you good news, or haven't you heard, when she fell out of
village of the west and she's far worse than the other one was. Who killed my sister? Who killed the wicked witch of the east? Was it you? Answer me! Leave her alone! You stay out of this. I'm here for vengeance. So was you, wasn't it? You killed her, didn't you? No, it was an accident. I didn't mean to kill anybody. Really, I didn't. Didn't mean to. A accident, a well, my pretty, I can cause accidents too, and this is how I do it. Aren't you forgetting the ruby slippers? The slippers, yes, the slippers. <laughs> The ruby slippers, what have you done with them? Give them back to me or I'll- It's too late. There they are, and there they'll stay. Give me back my slippers. I'm the only one that knows how to use them. They're of no use to you. Give them back to me. Give them back! Keep tight inside of them. Their magic's must be very powerful or she wouldn't want them so badly. You stay out of this, Glinda, or I'll fix you as well. <laughs> oh, rubbish. You have no power here. Now be gone before someone drops house on you, too. Very well. I'll bide my time. And as for you, my pretty, it's true. I can't attend to you here now as I, like... But just try to stay out of my way. Just try. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. <laughs> it's all right now. You can all get up. She's gone. Whew, what a smell of sulfur. I'm afraid you've made a rather bad enemy of the Wicked Witch of the West. The sooner you get out of Oz altogether, the safer you'll sleep, my dear. I'd give anything to get out of Oz altogether, which is the way back to Kansas. I can't go the way I came. No, that's true. The only person who might know would be the great and wonderful Wizard of Oz himself. The Wizard of Oz? Is he good or is he wicked? He's very good, but very mysterious. He lives in the Emerald City, and that's a long journey from here. Did you bring your broomstick with you? Bruh? No, I'm afraid I didn't. Well, then you'll have to walk. The Munchkins will see you safely to the border of Munchkinland. And remember, never let those ruby slippers off your feet for a moment. We will be at the mercy of the Wicked Witch of the West. But how do I start for Emerald City? It's always best to start at the beginning. Then all you do is follow the Yellow Brick Road. What happens if I get lost? Just follow the Yellow Brick Road. Bye-bye! Bye-bye!
road? Row, 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 row? Now which way do we go? Hmm. That way's a very nice way. Who said that? Urgh. Don't be silly, Toto. Scarecrows don't talk. It's pleasant down that way, too. That's funny. Wasn't he pointing the other way? Of course, people do go both ways. <laughs> well, you did say something, didn't you? Are you doing that on purpose? Or can't you make up your mind? That's just the trouble. I can't make up my mind. I haven't got a brain, only straw. How can you talk if you haven't got a brain? I don't know. But some people without brains do an awful lot of talking, don't they? Yes, I guess you're right. Well, we haven't met properly, have we? Why, no. How do you do? I'm Dorothy Gale, and this is my dog, Toto. Ruff. How do you do, both of you? Very well, thank you. And do you? Oh, I'm not feeling at all well. For you see, it's very tedious being stuck up here with a pole stuck up your back. It must be terribly uncomfortable. Can't you get down? Down? No. You see, I'm, I'm well. I'm... Let me help you. Of course, I'm not right about doing things, but if you'll just bend the nail down the back, maybe I'll slip off and... Ooh! <laughs> Whoops, haha, there goes some of me again. Does it hurt you? Oh, no, I just keep picking it up back again again. Oh. oh. Oh my, it's good to be free. <laughs> hey now, you get out of here. Boo, stop. I said boo. Dog, 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 dog. You see, I can't even scare a crow. They come from miles around just to be in my field and laugh in my face. Give me that back. <laughs> oh, I'm a failure. It's what would you do with the brain if you had one? Do? Why, if I had a brain, I could buy away the hours, the bird with the flowers, consult her in the ring. And my head, I'd be scratching well, I thought, busy hatching if I only had a brain. I'd unravel any riddle, brag me in the middle, and draw my lord. so badly and going all the way to Emerald City to get the Wizard of Oz to help me. <gasps> Do you think the wizard could get me a brain? I couldn't say, but even if he didn't, you'd be no worse off than you are now. That is true. But I've got a witch mad at me and you might get into trouble. Witch, huh? I'm afraid of any old witch. I'm not afraid of anything. Except for a lighted match. I don't blame you for that. But I'd be so hope I'm for a chance of getting trouble because I don't eat a thing and I won't try to manage things because I can't think. Oh, please, won't you take me with you? <laughs> Why, of course I will. Hooray! We're off to see the wizard. To Oz! To Oz! <laughs> We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Here he is, the wizard of a wizard, if ever a wizard there was. If ever, oh, ever a wizard there was, the wizard of Oz is one because, 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 because. because.
you a long ways and I was hungry. He was hungry, the audacity, the nerve. How would you like it if someone came along and picked something off of you? Oh dear, I keep forgetting I'm not in Kansas. I'll show you how to get apples. Come along, Dorothy. You're not wanting any of them. Well, about a year ago, I was chopping down that tree, minding my own business, when it suddenly started to rain out of nowhere. And right in the middle of the chop, I rusted solid. I've been that way ever since. Well, you're perfect now. Perfect? Bang on my chest if you think I'm perfect. Go ahead, bang on it. Beautiful! What did that go? It's empty. The tent forgot forgotten me a heart. No heart? No heart. All hollow. <laughs> When a man's an empty kettle, he should be on his metal, and he had him torn apart. Just because I'd be zooming that I could be kind of human if I only had a heart. I'd be tender, I'd be gentle, and awful sentimental regarding love and art. I'd be friends with the sparrows in the wood that shoots the arrows if I only had a heart. Picture me, a balcony, above a voice sings low. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? I hear a beat. How sweet! Just to register emotion, jealousy, devotion, and real. Heart. I would stay young and chipper, and I'd lock it with the zipper if I only had a heart. That was wonderful. Why don't you come with us to Emerald City to ask the Wizard of Oz for a heart? Why, that's a long and dangerous journey, and it might rain on the way. But you've just been saying how much you want a heart. And I'll keep the oil can handy. Well, suppose the wizard doesn't give me one when we get there. But he will. He must. We've come such a long way already. <laughs> What's that? Helping the little lady along the way, are you, my fine gentleman? Well, stay away from her, or I'll stuff, a, or I'll make a stuff, stuff a mattress with you, and I'll make a beehive with you. <laughs> and as for you, my pretty. I wish you luck with the Wizard of Oz and a happy journey back to Kansas. <laughs>
like this forest. It's, it's dark and creepy. I think it will get darker before it gets lighter. You suppose we'll meet any wild animals? We might. And we'll say, Shaw! Some, but mostly lions and tigers and bears. Lions and tigers? And bears. Oh my. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. Lions and tigers and I gain those ruby slippers, my power will be the greatest in all of eyes. Now my beauty, something with a little sting of it, stop. Jitterbugs, yes, my lovely dancing jitterbugs. Show yourselves. Now make her dance, dance, dance. Till she dance away those ruby slippers. Now go. Did you just hear 
what I just heard? That noise don't come from any ordinary bird. It may be just a cricket or a critter in the trees. It's definitely with the jitters and the joints around the knees. I think I see a shadow when it's supposed to get I haven't got a brain, but I think I should wear it. Heart, but I feel a palpitation. It's Monica of the Forest, they don't like the situation. How are you going to stand around and let us fill full of horror? I'd like to roar them now. But I think I lost my roar. <laughs> Who's that hiding in the treetops? It's that rascal, Jitterbug. Should you catch him buzzing round you, keep away.
So that's how you're going to play it. Well then, here's a little message for the girl. <laughs> See that she gets it. <laughs> There's a guard right over there. Maybe he can point us towards the wizard. If you please, sir, could you direct us to the wizard? We want to see him, all four of us. Nobody can see the great Oz. Not nobody, not know how. But we must. I got a permit just for the occasion. Not nobody, not know how. But she's Dorothy. The witch is Dorothy? Well, that makes a difference. Just wait here, I'll announce you at once. Did you hear that? Oh, now she says it once. I was gonna stop my brain. I can barely hear my heart beating. I'll be home in time for supper. In another hour, I'll be king of the forest. Long live the king! If I were king of the forest, My regal robes of the forest would be satin, not cotton, not chintz. I'd command each thing, be it fish or fowl, with a wolf and a wolf and a royal growl. As I'd click my heel, all the trees would feel, and the mountains bow, and the holes cow cow, and the sparrows would take wing. If I, if I were king, your Majesty, if you were king, you wouldn't be afraid of anything. Not Nobody, not no owl. Well. Not even a rhinoceros. Yes, Hotheris. How about a hippopotamus? Why, I thrash him from top to bottom. Is supposed to be an elephant? I wrap him up in elephant. What if it were a Brontosaurus? I show him who was king of the forest. How? How? Courage. What makes a king out of slave? Courage. What makes the flag on the mast to wave? Courage! What makes an elephant charge his tusk in the misty mist or the dusky dust? Courage! What makes the hot attack so hot? What puts the ape in apricot? What have they got that I ain't got? What? Courage! You can say that again. If I, if I, if I were king. Go on home. The wizard says, go away. Go away. No. Oh. Don't cry, Dorothy. Hey, Tim was so good to me, and I never appreciated it. Running away and hurting her feelings. Professor Marvel said she was sick. She made me die, and it's all my fault. I'll never forgive myself, never. Oh, please don't cry anymore. I'll get you into the wizard somehow. Come on, I hit an ant on myself once.
wait a minute, fellas. I was just thinking, I don't really want to see the wizard all this much. I better wait outside. Oh, he's just scared again. Don't you know the wizard's going to give you some courage? I'd be too afraid to ask him for it. Then we'll ask him for it. No, you. I'd sooner wait. I know. What happened? Somebody pulled my tail. Oh, you did it yourself. Uh, I am I, the great and powerful. Who are you? If you please, sir, I am Dorothy, the small and meek. We've come to ask you. Silence! Jimmy Crickets. The great and powerful Oz knows why you have come. Step forward, Tin Man. You dare come to me for a heart, do you? You clinking, clanking, clattering collection of collagenous junk! Well, you see, a while ago we were walking down the yellow brick road and- Quiet! Oh! And you, Scarecrow, have the audacity to ask me for a brain! You billowing bale of bovine fodder! Your honor, I'm in your explanation. I'm in your with Enough! And you, lion! Oh! You ought to be ashamed of yourself frightening him like that when he came to you for help! Silence! The beneficent Oz has every intention of granting your requests! What's that? What'd he say? But first, you must prove yourselves by performing a very small task. Bring me the broomstick of the Wicked Witch of the West! But, but, but if we do that, we'll have to kill her to get it. Bring me her broomstick, and I'll grant your request! Now go! But what if she kills us first? I said go! <laughs> Castle one mile. I turn back if I were you. Well, that's the best news that I've ever heard. Oh, no, you don't. You know, fellas, I believe there's spooks around here. <laughs> that's ridiculous, spooks. <laughs> that's silly. Don't you believe it's spooks? Why, only. Well, I do. Well, I believe it's spooks. 
Spooks, I do, I do, I do believe in spooks! You'll believe in more than that before I finish with you. Welcome to the haunted forest. I'd like you to meet some friends of mine. Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> Why, they are lovely slippers, aren't they, Nico? Now be good boys and invite a few of your friends to the party. If I had a heart, I think it'd be beating faster. Now bring me the girl and her dog. <laughs> to do something. to entertain our guests. Bring me the girl! <laughs> what an unexpected pleasure, my dear. It's so kind of you to visit me in all of my loneliness. What are you gonna do with my dog? Give him back to me. All in good time, my pretty, all in good time. Oh, please give me back my dog. Certainly, certainly, <laughs> when you give me back those slippers. But the good witch of the north told me not to. Very well, very well. Nico, my pet, tie a rock around the dog and toss him in the river. We can all watch him drown. No, here, you can have your old slippers, but give me back Toto. What a good little girl. I knew you'd see reason. Ah! I'm sorry, I didn't do it. Can I sell my dog? No, fool that I am. I should have remembered. Those slippers will never come off as long as you're alive. What are you going to do? It's not what I'm going to do that is wrong me. It's how to do it. These things must be done delicately. What do you want? He got away. He got away. Which is more than you will. Do you see the hourglass? That's how much longer you've got to be alive. And it isn't long, my pretty. It isn't long. <laughs> How are we gonna find Dorothy? My paws are getting awfully tired from all this searching. Ruff, ruff, look, Toto, where have you been? Ruff, ruff, oh, we oh, we oh. Yup, yup, yup. What 
she's saying. Dorothy! Oh, she's locked in the witch's tower. Oh, I hate to think of Dorothy in that place. <laughs> We've got to do something. Don't cry. You, we don't have the oil can with us, and you've been sweeping enough as it is. <laughs> What's that? What's that? They're Winkies, the witch's guards. Hey, I have a plan. He's got a plan. And you're going to lead us. Me? Yes, you. All right, I'll do it for Dorothy. Wicked witch or no wicked witch, guards or no guards, I'll tear them apart! Ah! There's just one thing I need you fellas to do. What's, What's that? that? Talk me out of it! We owe her all we are. We owe her all we are. We owe her all we are. To, but I am your Oz, locked up in the witch's castle. I, I'm so afraid. I don't know what to do. Dorothy, dear, come home. Just come home. <laughs> Nico, gather the Winky Guards. Her time is nearly up. When I return, you'll have yours and I'll have mine. <laughs> Start in a new right after the other, and the last to go will see the first three go before her, and her little dog too. Hmm, where to start? 
Ah, yes, have a little fire, Scarecrow. <gasps> Why have you come back? We brought you the broomstick of the Wicked Witch of the West, so we'd like you to keep your promise, if you please, sir. Go away! Go away. Come back tomorrow! Ruff, ruff. Tomorrow? I want to go home now! You've had plenty of time already. Yeah! Ruff. Uh, 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 pay no attention to the man behind the curtain! Go! Before I lose my temper! The great and powerful Oz has... Spoken. 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 Who are you? Well, I am the great and powerful Wizard of Oz. You're a very bad man. Oh, no, no, no. I'm a very good man. I'm just a very bad wizard. You'd better be good enough to send Dorothy back to Kansas. And the, t the heart you promised the Tin Man. And what about the courage you promised the Cowardly Lion? And Scarecrow's brain. But you've got them. 
You've had them all the time. Oh, oh no, no, we haven't. haven't. Well, of course you have. Why, Scarecrow, anybody can have a brain. It's a very mediocre commodity. What back where I come from, we have, we have universities where men go to become great thinkers. But they have one thing you haven't got, a diploma. A diploma? Gee. Therefore, I hereby confer upon you the honorary degree of THD. THD? Doctor of Thinkology. The sum of any square root of an isosceles triangle is equal to any remaining side. Oh, you rapture! I've got a brain! How can I ever thank you enough? Well, you can't. As, as for you, my fine lion friend, you are under the delusion that because you run away from danger, you have no courage. You're mistaking courage with wisdom. Boy, back where I come from, we have men called heroes, and they have no more courage than you do. But they have one thing you haven't got, a medal. Therefore, for conspicuous bravery against wicked witches, I hereby award upon you the Triple Cross. The Triple Cross. You are now a member of the Legion of Courage. Aw, oh, shucks, folks, I'm speechless. As for you, my galvanized tin friend, you want a heart. You have no idea how lucky you are not to have one. Hearts are made practical until they can be made unbreakable. But I still want one. Yes, back where I come from, there are men who do nothing but good deeds all day, and they have no more heart than you do. But they have one thing you haven't got, a testimonial. <laughs> Did you hear that? A testimonial. Therefore, for, for in consideration of your kindness, I present you with this token of our esteem and affection. And remember, my sentimental friend, a heart is not made by how much you love, but by how much you are loved by others. It ticks. Hey, what about Dorothy? Oh, I don't think there's anything in that bag for me. Well, the only way for me to get Dorothy back to Kansas is for me to take her there myself. But are you clever enough wizard to manage it? Well, I'm an old Kansas man myself, premier balloonist of the Miracle Wonderland Carnival Company, until one day, the balloon failed to return to the fair. It did? Yes. But then suddenly the wind changed and I flowed down to the heart of this noble city, where I was instantly acclaimed Oz. First Wizard Deluxe. Oh! <laughs> and in that same balloon, you and I will return to the land of E Pluribus Unum. Did you hear that? He's gonna take me home! And here's our balloon now! <laughs> Oh, I can't wait. Wow. I hereby, I hereby say that Scarecrow, Lion, and Tin Man shall rule in my stead. Obey them as you would me. Release the balloon! Please, come back here, Toto! Uh, Dorothy, we're taking off! I don't know. I, I can't. I don't know how it works. Goodbye, folks. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'll never get home. Look, here's someone who could help you. You don't need to be helped any longer. You've always had the power to go back to Kansas. I have? Then why didn't you tell her that before? Because she wouldn't believe me. She had to learn it for herself. What have you learned, Dorothy? Well, I think that it was enough just want to see Uncle Henry and Auntie Em. If I ever go looking for my own heart's desire again, I won't look any further than my own backyard. Because if it wasn't there, I never really lost it to begin with. Is that right? That's all it is. That's so easy. I could have done that for you. I should have felt it in my heart. She had to find it out for herself. Now, those ruby slippers will take you home in two seconds. Toto too? Toto too. Now? Whenever you'd like. Oh, it's going to be so hard to say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, Tin Man. Don't cry. He'll rust so dreadfully. Then let me get your oil can. It's a large basket. Here. <laughs> goodbye. No, I know I've got a heart because it's breaking. Goodbye, Lion. I never what you said all about before you found your uh, I never would have found it if it weren't for you. <laughs> oh, Scarecrow, I think I'll miss you most of all. <laughs> Are you ready now? Yes, I'm ready now. Then close your eyes, tap your heels together three times, and just think to yourself, there's no place like home. 
There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Like home. There's no place like home. It's Anton, darling. Oh, it's you. It, oh. Hi. Uh, I just stopped by because I heard the little girl got caught in the big. Oh, well, she seems okay now. She got quite the bump on the head for a moment there. We thought we lost. But I did leave you, Uncle Henry. I tried to get back for days and days. Remember me? Your old pal, Hunk? And me, Hickory. You couldn't forget my old face, could you? But it wasn't a dream. It was a place. And you, and you, and you, and you were there. But you couldn't have been, could you? No, Aunt Yam. This was a real, truly live place. I remember that some of it wasn't very nice. Most of it was beautiful. But just the same, all I kept saying to everybody was I want to go home. And they sent me home. Doesn't anybody believe me? Of course we believe you, Dorothy. Anyway, Toto, we're home. Oh, this is my room, and you're all here. And I'm not going to leave here ever, ever again because I love you all. No, Auntie M. There's a place like home.
Thank you for starting theater here at St. Catherine, and we just want to say that this has been probably one of the best three, like, few months of our time here at St. Catherine, and we're going to miss you guys really, really much next year, so we love you, and thank you. Thank you for coming. Hello. How is everyone doing t today? We, we just wanted to take a second to thank Mr. and Mrs. Dignan, Mrs. Henning, Mrs. Boda, and Mrs. Scott. I would also like to give a round of applause to all our eighth graders because this will be their last show. Their names are Sarah Chiapetta, Wizard of Oz, he finds he is a 